Hi guys, I have with me here today problem 3.31 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. If my voice sounds a little bit weird today, it's just because I've been sick, so that's why I might sound a little bit nasally or stuffy, but all right, let's get to the question. So a moving sidewalk in an airport terminal moves at 1.0 meters per second and is 35.0 meters long. If a woman steps on at one end and walks at 1.5 meters per second relative to the moving sidewalk, how much time does it take her to reach the opposite end if she walks A, in the same direction the sidewalk is moving, B, in the opposite direction? Okay, so let's do what we usually do and get started with a diagram. Okay. So in our diagram, I'm just going to draw this rectangle that's going to represent the moving sidewalk. I'm like, okay, much better. That's much more straight. Okay. And we have this moving sidewalk. And it says that the speed of the sidewalk is 1.0 meters per second. And then this distance is 35.0 meters. So the distance, the length of the sidewalk is 35.0 meters and the speed that it's moving at is 1.0 meters per second. Okay. So we have a woman walking relative to the moving sidewalk. So she says she steps on it. So let's draw her right here. And I don't know, let's give her, let's give her a skirt to, just for fun. She's wearing the pink skirt. All right, let's give her some hair too. All right, adorable, love it. Okay, so she is going to be walking at 1.5 meters per second relative to the sidewalk. We wanna know how long does it take for her to get from point A, which is the beginning of the sidewalk, to point B, which is the end of the sidewalk, right? So A and B, start to finish. How long does it take her? Okay, so let's go ahead and write down all of our knowns that now that we've understood this problem and drew it a diagram for ourselves. So we can recognize that this is a relative motion problem, right? Because if the sidewalk is moving at 1.0 meters per second and she steps on and she's moving at 1.5 meters per second relative to the sidewalk, that means that her speed relative to the, to the ground is going to be different, right? It's not, it's not going to be 1.5 or one, it's gonna be a combination of the two somehow. But we're not really clear about that. So let's, let's figure it out. Okay, so we can do that by writing down our notes first. So that's where, that's where we are. So distance, is equal to 35.0. Oh, that was pi, but okay. That's so strange. I just wrote, it's not showing up on my screen. Okay, let's erase that. Hmm. I think there is some mistake. Oh no, okay. Um, I think something's going on here. Just give me a second. I'm gonna pause and re- and fix this. Okay, sorry, I'm back. The reason was because I lost connection on my iPad, so I'm good now. I have connection again. Okay, so 35.0 meters, meters, right? Okay, and we know that the speed of the sidewalk, so the speed of the sidewalk is what? Relative to the ground, right? Because, well, it has to be relative to something earth, ground, whatever you want, right? So I'm just gonna say ground because I think that's just a little bit easier for me. So sidewalk relative to the ground is equal to 1.0 meters per second. And then the woman steps on and her speed is relative to the moving sidewalk. So it's going to be woman rel speed relative to the sidewalk. And that's going to be 1.5 meters per second. And we want to figure out how long does it take to reach the opposite end, right? So if we, yeah, how does it, how long does it take to reach from point A to point B, which we kind of illustrated in our picture on the bottom right corner. Okay. Now, this is what we don't know. 
And these are the pieces of information that we do know. Now, we can definitely use a speed equation, right? Because if we want, if we want to find out what time is, right, we can use our equation distance is equal to speed times time. And we can isolate for time, which gets, which gives us distance over speed. And the speed, as we know, we have two pieces of information here, right? So how long does it take her to reach from point A to point B? Well, remember how before we said that it's going to be a combination of her speed relative to the sidewalk and then, you know, the sidewalk relative to the ground, right? It's not just going to be, we can't just say her speed is 1.5 meters per second because that's not true. The sidewalk's also moving at 1.0 meters per second. So we need to find out what this speed is. Well, lucky for us, this is a relative motion problem. And we said that it's going to be to find the speed of the woman relative to the ground, we can just use chain rule because that's what we're looking for, right? The woman relative to the ground. And it, according to chain rule, it's going to be the woman relative to the sidewalk plus the sidewalk relative to the ground. And that's going to be like adding these two together, right? But not that simple because we actually don't know which direction she's walking in, right? What we do know is that this sidewalk it's going to be moving at some direction and she could be going along the sidewalk or opposite to the sidewalk, right? But we need to go ahead and maybe set up a little coordinate system, right? So if we're assuming that she's moving, um, let's just say that this is positive and this is negative, right? Because if she's walking against the sidewalk, we're gonna have to, you know, um, subtract that. And then if she's walking with, we have to add the speeds. So I'll make that a little bit more clear. But for now, we've set up our little system here, right? So let's say that this is positive, right? This one right over here, and this is negative, the opposite direction. And the sidewalk is, let's say, moving positive, right? It could also be moving negative, but let's just, we're setting it up as it's moving positive. And she could be moving, you know, positive along with the sidewalk or negative against the sidewalk. Okay. So let's go ahead and write that down for part A. Okay, actually, sorry, before, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So this speed right over here is going to give us what the speed of her relative to the ground is going to be. And that's exactly what we want in our equation. It's going to be the distance she traveled and the speed she traveled, sorry, in the speed she traveled that distance. Right, so if we wanna get T, we have to solve for this first. But to get this, right, to get this, we need to solve this first. But to solve this, we need to solve this first. So let's go ahead and look at that again. So in part A, it says that she's walking in the same direction to the, uh, which the sidewalk is moving. So that means SVG, in w, S, w, w, V, S are both the same sign. So they're both moving in the positive direction. So if this is how the sidewalk is moving, like we established, right, in the positive direction, then she's also moving in the positive direction. So we're just going to leave these both as is. It's going to be positive 1.0 meters per second and positive 1.5 meters per second. And of course, according to chain rule, it means we just have to add these two. So it's going to be W, V, G is equal to 2.5 meters per second, right? So that's going to be her speed, okay? And we said that the distance she's moving is 35 meters. So our time is going to be 35.0 meters divided by 2.5 meters per second. And that gives us... What does that give us? Sorry, let me just double check on my calculator. It's because I hate making dumb mistakes and having to re-record. So this is going to be 14 seconds. All right, so 14 seconds is how long it takes when she walks in the same direction as the moving sidewalk. Okay, but that's not, of course, the only um, possibility. Part B says, what if she's walking in the opposite direction? Okay, 
So if she's walking in the opposite direction, let's let's do that. Let's find out the possibility of that. I want to be careful because again, this eraser has a mind of its own. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second part in pink. But okay. So in part B, in the opposite direction. Okay, so what does that mean? Again, the sidewalk is moving one way because the sidewalk can only really move one way unless... Okay, well, let's not let's not think of unless. So it's just we've established the sidewalk is moving in one way. She, maybe she didn't take this direction, right? She didn't go that direction. She's walking the opposite way. So she's going from B to A, right? But the sidewalk is moving this way. So we said that this... The sidewalk is moving in the positive direction, but then this right over here from B to A, that's going to be in the negative direction. So let's write that down in our knowns, right? So that means that SVG, the sidewalk again is positive, right? And the lady on the other hand, she is moving in the opposite direction, which is minus 1.5 meters per second, okay? And because she's moving in the opposite direction, again, to find W, V, G, we're going to have to add these together. And this time, she's going to be moving minus 0 0.5 meters per second. So minus, it just means that, um, again, because the sidewalk is moving this way, and she's moving this in this direction, it means that she's only going to be moving at 0 0.5 meters per second because again, she's sort of like working against the sidewalk, right? So that makes sense that she's moving slower than her or the sidewalk be able to be moving. And it also makes sense that, you know, because she's faster than the sidewalk, she has like um, a net negative direction because that's the direction she was walking in the first place. But okay, let's add these together. We added them together and we got this, minus 0 0.5 meters per second. Okay, so, now we need to solve for time. So time is going to be distance, right? And W, V, G. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to say that it's going to be, um, sorry, 35 meters divided by 0 0.5 meters per second, right? Because really this just means that she's moving right or left. We can't really have a negative time. So we're just gonna say 0 0.5 meters per second. Um, yeah, because we're just looking for time. Okay, so when we do that, we get 70 seconds. Okay, just gonna double check. 70 seconds, right? Um, again, if you're a little bit confused why I didn't add a minus here, it's really just because we know that what does the minus mean? It just means that she's moving in the opposite direction. So I just took that out. Um, this would actually just be make more sense. We would add the minus if they were asking like, um, what's her speed, right? But if we're just looking for time, it's fine. Okay, so now she has 70, it took her 70 seconds to walk from point B to point A. So that's her answer. Um, yeah, that's everything. So if she's walking in the same direction, it only takes her 14 seconds, right? Because they're both working together, uh, the sidewalk and her. And then if she's working against the sidewalk then, or walking against the sidewalk, I shouldn't really say working against the sidewalk, but yeah, um, in the colloquial sense, she's working against the sidewalk. But yeah, in this physical sense, she's walking against the sidewalk and that will take her 70 seconds, so much longer. All right, so that's the end of this problem. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always, you know, where to reach me in the comments or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful and see you next time. Thanks for watching.